Hey, just wanted to say before we got started that we have a closed Facebook group and it's called The Comfire Crew. The link will be in the description of this. Go ahead and join up on that so you don't miss out on um, any giveaways. We're currently doing a giveaway for The Walking Dead if you're interested in that. Um, also, this is a good place for us to be more personal and communicate. And basically, we're trying to build up a community um, for people who like the same things as we do. So click that link, join up with us on a Facebook group and uh, and chat with us, man. Let's jump into the video. Hey, what's up, comic book fans? This is the Confire Crew, and we're here to talk about Batman issue 50, people. Batman is back. I'm Confire Rich. I'm Confire Nate, man, and this was a good episode. This is... This is an issue we've been waiting for. You know, we, we've, we've gone through this whole super heavy thing. And we've really been ready for the finale of it because we want to kind of see what they're going with. Um, I liked it. I liked how it started. You, you, you ended the last one with Batman finally getting Bruce Wayne becoming Batman again. Mm -hmm. Something we've been wanting for a long time. And this started out, he's in there, he's looking through suits. And, they're, and you know, the whole time you have like this talk, voiceover, it's like, you got to be something different. You got to be this. So he's looking through, man, what's he do? He picks a new bat suit. Okay, he's like, you know what? And it was fun looking at him viewing this massive, different amount of suits. And he's like, the back I got closet. something special. You know, like in a box, like a special suit. Um, and he gets it. And then, you know, we, we get to go see, we basically have uh, Gordon, who just got, I mean, just got messed up. Like, I, I was pretty sure at this point that Gordon was dead. Yeah, not I, was dead. He was, I, was th I was thinking he was going to bite the dust. Yeah, I mean, I thought he was done. And, I mean, apparently, dude just punctured his spleen. And he's basically getting carted off. And, I mean, these guys are just coming. You know, they're just attacking. And they're coming after him again. And there's this moment, and it might be one of my favorite moments, and I copied the image because I want to use it as a background somewhere because I just love it. And it's the moment when Batman shows up. He lands on the bat and signal. And he lands on the bat signal. I got, I got the image. <laughs> that epic look to it was so fantastic. I gave me goosebumps. I was excited. It was awesome. That, look, th this comic started out. It, great i mean what i've been waiting for what they've been building up for um i was loving every second especially when he's kind of monologuing to himself and he says you got to give them something they've never seen before and you better give them everything you've got and like yeah. that kind of gave me chills like yo when batman's going all in like that it, things are about to get about to get serious mm -hmm. the bat signal coming in and then right after that they're talking smack like if you if you're really him i'll eat i don't even know what he said i'll eat something and the next thing you know batman's in like Pah! Then shoved the flagpole up its throat. And I was just like, dang, Batman going in. Um, and an interesting note during that is when he's talking to Alfred, mm -hmm. um, he says, when I come back, the, um, I, what do they call it? It was what he got dipped in from the Court of Owls and stuff. But the, uh, it, like, dosium or something yeah, like that. It healed his body. And I was like, oh, that's cool. It kind of healed him. No, it healed his entire it body. Him. And when he was like, I've never, I haven't been this fast or strong in forever. And I was just like, wait a second. We've got the brain of Batman, of experienced old, I've done everything Batman, in the body of I've never been beaten up Batman. Right. The, the most healthiest version of Batman yeah. with all the scar tissue, the, the fractured bones that are healed funny, all those things are gone. And he's at his peak possible efficiency. Yeah. Uh, I thought that was pretty awesome. And I love that scene. Um, Now... For for me, Nate, it kind of starts going downhill for this comic. And I got a little under like disappointed. It, for me personally, I don't per I don't like the super grand over I mean like over the top um stuff, the kind of the way the middle part of this comic went. Because it wasn't even like at, at a certain point. Now it was cool when Batman showed up in his I don't know what you call that. The super suit. The big super robotic Batman and he, he when he kind of comes in. But I don't know. It was just a big giant monster destroying the town and and talking and more monologuing. And like, I don't know. It wasn't enough Batman for me. Well, I think it is. The thing about it is like the Bloom villain is, is a new villain. So there's not a whole lot of like when it's when it's an epic battle between Batman and Joker, you're all in. Yeah. You know, it's an epic battle between Batman and some villain that you're used to. Bloom is kind of a weird villain. Like, you, 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 he comes across very, like, you know, obviously evil, but it just, you don't have that, it doesn't appeal to you the same way. 
Um, so I did, I understand what you're saying. Cause I did have moments where I was just like, I really don't care about bloom, but at the same time, the way they played it out, I want, I want to pick up right, almost right where the last thing I said, one of the moments that I thought was really cool was when, uh, Batman basically handcuffed <laughs> Gordon and was like, mm-hmm. it has a GPS in it. It'll, it'll unlock when you get to the hospital. Like he's basically like, listen, I'm taking over and I'm going to go do this. And, and bloom has taken over all the robots. Um, all the mechanical Batman suits. Yeah, you know Batman's having to fight all them, and again, Gordon's just gonna. Yeah, you know, I, I felt like this whole arc was more about Jim Gordon. It really okay? was. It, it was, was about Gordon getting to that point where he realizes that you know he's not ever gonna fill those shoes, and that I'm only as good as I can be. And I felt like if if you take that into consideration, that this arc was really about. The, the recreation of Batman and the kind of Gordon getting to kind of fill his shoes, mm-hmm. then it feels like it ends better. Now, the it, fight... I mean, no, it, it ended fine. Like, I understand the whole story arc, and it worked out um, great, and we'll get into it when we get to the ending. It kind of closed off very nicely. But let me ask you this, Nate. Like, when um, Batman comes in, he's taking over the bat suits. Batman's fighting these bat suits. And he was like, let me make it feel like more like home. Like, he changed them? How did he... It's like he changed them because he made them represent old Batman villains. Like, I saw Killer Croc, um, Harley Quinn, the Penguin. Um, I don't, uh, I didn't pick up on the first one. And obviously, the Joker. Mm-hmm. Do you, do you remember? Did you pay attention to it at all? Yeah, I noticed that. I didn't know, I didn't know how he did that. And I, I wasn't sure who the first villain was that he, that he was, uh, replicating. But anyway, I thought that was kind of neat. Even then, uh, Bloom was like, I ah, here, fight these little Batman robots. Is it too much for you? And then the next scene, Batman's just kind of like blows them up. It's like, nah. Yeah, no, it was just, it nah, was it funny because like everything he threw at Batman, and you got, like we said before, this is Batman at the peak of his yeah. possible, you know, abilities. Um, and he just took it down like it was no problem, you know? And even at the end when you got this like, like super like black hole of thing going on that's, you know, another layer to this that yeah. I felt like they didn't have to do because it was like, we already get the point, but then it got like kind of crazy. Hey, there's this going on. But they needed something for Gordon to go after. Yeah. So Gordon's going after trying to stop this from destroying the city. You got Giant Bloom coming up, and I, I like you said, that was one of the cool moments when the giant freaking bat robot showed up and started beating up Bloom. At that point, it got kind of like, it got epic. Epically yeah. comic-y, okay? Like, yeah. it got to that point where this is like, giant robots fighting and, and crushing the city. I mean, it felt like a Godzilla movie. But I think all of that was, again, just to fill the gaps for what I think was the main story. And then, you know, you had that moment where Gordon, I felt like Gorman, Gordon truly felt like he was going to sacrifice himself. You yeah, know, I like it was, was he it. He was prepared to die, I feel like. He was. And, and then again, the whole time you got this kind of interesting another story going on, and that is that we find out why Bloom became who he was. And it turns out that... uh that Duke's cousin Daryl basically was the one that that created all this. You right. know that was going on the whole time. So you got you got basically Duke fighting him, then Duke coming after Bloom, and you got Batman coming after Bloom, and you got Gordon trying to save the city. Like it kind of got a little exciting and kind of a little crazy there for a moment, and it was kind of hard to follow. Um, but the way it ended, you know, the way it kind of it finished. If it would have left on that moment, it would have been completely cool because you wouldn't have known what happened. But then they have. It's an exercise episode, uh, issue, so we got to see, you know, yeah. kind of epilogue of what happened after the fact. Well, with um, Duke, um, I did, I really did like that. I like them throwing that in there, kind of made like a little twist and and gave the character Bloom a little bit more depth, you know, as far as like where he actually come from and stuff. So I thought that was neat. I liked how Duke handled his business and jumped out of the, you know, they sucked him up with a magnet and then he, he, he jumped out of the point. Because, you know, Duke's kind of scared of heights. Mm-hmm. Um, at least he was so you know he's he's really stepping up and i guess that was the whole point when you said it got real comic booky epic it was you know uh jim gordon with the batarang and like he's just just i don't know man just lights everywhere and it didn't make well, a lot of became, sense to me it didn't make it a whole lot like of the, sense it just it, to me it was a little over the top but like you said needed something for jim gordon to do and this was about jim gordon going into the epic log uh, epilogue um mm-hmm. You know, I guess you pick up there where he's, you know, in the hospital. Right. I mean, you be, it out. basically sets everything on back to the, the straight course. You got Jim getting his, 
you know, his old job back. Everything's cool. You know, him growing his mustache back. Cause, cause I'm, man, come on, man. Yeah. Jim Gordon doesn't look great without mustache. Oh, yeah, he really did. You know, so he's getting, you know, all these things are coming together. You got Harvey there. Everyone's happy. You know, Batman's talking to him and they have like a good moment. They actually have an interesting moment if you look back and he's, he's like, uh, Gordon's like, I hated that, that you couldn't be that person, but that person. I'm pretty sure he was going to say Bruce. Because I'm pretty sure he realized yeah. Bruce is Batman. Because he said B. I, it says he's like to be b- and that then he, person. And then he said that person. I'm yeah. pretty sure he knows who he is. Right. Um, and it's funny how they just kind of like, they both acknowledge they probably know who what is what, but they're just not going to say it, basically. Yeah. Um, but then I think the cool thing was, is you saw like what happened with Duke. Like his parents are all messed up. There's that moment where Bruce Wayne comes to Duke and he's like, I have a proposition for you. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like we have, you basically, you get Gordon back where he's supposed to be. You get Bruce Wayne back as Batman. And maybe we're about to see a Duke Thomas Robin coming down the pipe. Yeah, that's what it looked like to me. Um, it was a nice wrap up. The whole the whole idea is like, you know, the city needs, it needs heroes right now. And our superheroes and Gordon's superhero, I mean, a, a hero. And the fact that he had the help of the town, pulling mm-hmm. the seeds out themselves. I mean, like. The arc finished nice. It was about Jim Gordon and them realizing, you know what? Nobody can fill this hole. Nobody can be Batman but Batman. But what I can be is what the city also needs, which is a hero, a good old cop. You know, yeah. doing now stuff. Now you need that, that music. I need a hero play it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I need a hero. Yeah. yeah there you go. But, yo, uh, again, it was good. It was, you know, a, a good issue. It was a 50. And, but most importantly, guys. We got Batman back, and he's healthier than ever, and I can't wait to see what they do with him next. Um, Look, like the video. If you like the video, let us know down in the comment section below. What did you think of this comic? Was it everything that you you wanted it to be? Did it build up just nicely? Are you excited for Batman to be back? Whatever. Um, Like the video if you like the video, and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Um, And until next time, we out. See ya.